Hello there, everyone. My name is Nathan Birch, and today we're going to be talking about project refinement. As you are finishing up your first project of the semester, it's important to know when a project is done, if we can ever really say that, um, and what are some things that we can do anytime we're in the process of finishing up a project. So, uh, how do I know when my app is done? Uh, performance, you can pass the Google Page Speed Insights test. Uh, you've implemented security measures into it. You don't have any broken links. It is compatible with any modern browsers that are being widely used. Um, you have search engine optimization uh, principles in place. And we have a few nice to haves that we'll talk about. Okay, so the Google Page Speed Test. All right, here's what it looks like. Um, you can go here and you can put any URL in. I could test BYUI site or Google or anything that I wanted to, uh, but you can get a lot of useful data back out of this, kind of seeing where you're at, what are some things that you can do. It'll even give you some, su some suggestions as to why, in this case, why this site was slow uh, and what I could change to fix it. Uh, plug the site into the Google PageSpeed Insights to see your results. And here's what it looks like. Okay, and this is, just, this is just a Chrome extension. Okay, and there are a bunch of these that you can use. I'm not saying that this one's better than any of the other ones, um, but any tool like this will be great. Okay, because it'll give you some good insights as to you know how your site's doing. Uh, if the site requires login credentials, log into the site first and check the performance uh, with this extension. Another useful tool is the Pass GT Matrix Metrics Analysis. Okay. Again, uh, I could just say, you know, well, let's say churchofjesuschrist.org and it'll start testing it. That'll take a little while. We can come back here in a sec. All right. So uh, we just talked about performance. Now let's talk about security. Use HTTPS only. HTTP should always redirect to HTTPS. Uh, Qualys SSL server test. Aim for a, a score A or above and consider these free open source scanning tools, among others. There are a bunch, okay, um, but these are really great tools that will basically just run through your application and, and, and test it to see if there are any vulnerabilities that are in there. Security specifics, all inputs are validated on the server before processing. All input data is encoded before sending the response to the browser. Web server directory listing has been disabled, so I shouldn't be able to like access specific files uh, on a website unless there's a link to them. CSRF tokens are included in all requests that change state. Errors shown to users or on the client do not contain stack traces, source code, full paths, or any other internal data. This is really easy to get around. Even if you had a Google spreadsheet with a bunch of random numbers that each are associated with the code, no one will know about those codes uh, if you just have an error message with, an, with a random number, okay? Uh, content type of uploaded files is always verified before uploading. If XML files are handled, external entity is disabled and DTD processing enabled. HTTPS is used and strict transport security is sent. TLS 1.2 or higher required. Session cookies set secure, HTTP only and, sorry, HTTPS only and same site lacks attributes. Um, all other cookies set secure and if possible, HTTPS only also. Okay. All third-party libraries that the app uses are updated to the latest version. Um, and then we can get into authentication. Let's see if this came back. Boom. Go church. Okay. So uh, we can see some things here. We could look through this. I'll leave this to you. Okay. Um, but it just gives data on how the website's doing. Uh, and it looks like I just see a lot of green here. Okay. There will be other colors that seem a little bit warmer. Uh, but are not good, um, but yeah, so. Okay, well, let's keep going, whoops. All right, passwords are stored using strong cryptography. The password is required to change any account information. Passwords require at least 12 characters and reject at least the most common 1,000 passwords. Now, this right here, I would say, is completely dependent on what type of app you're making. Uh, I once made an app for my daughters to help teach them a couple of different languages, and it showed our alphabet in those little like building blocks, you know, like the wooden blocks. And um, they click on a letter and it will load up a bunch of pictures of nouns that start with that letter in that language. But if they clicked on like Spanish, then all the nouns that come up when they click on a letter 
will be completely different. The words that come up will be completely different than the ones that came up with English because Apple is a different word in Spanish, okay? And so this was a very simple site, didn't have any login, didn't have to, didn't deal with any sensitive information. Um, you know, so when dealing with this authentication stuff, just know that if you're working for a bank, they might require 16 characters, you know, and a couple of special characters in there. And if you're working with, you know, something else that isn't nearly as sensitive, they might only require eight characters, okay? And they might not even check for the thousand most common passwords. So a lot of that, obviously we want our sites to be secure, but um, depending on the type of site you're making, um, yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, multi-factor authentication is supported. Same thing, I didn't need multi-factor authentication for my app, uh, for my kids, uh, but anything that deals with sensitive, with personal sensitive information should have multi-factor authentication. The number of attempts to endpoints such as login, password reset, 2FA validation is restricted and monitored. Uh, language libraries are used to create and validate JWT tokens. When a user logs out, or when a session expires, the session on the server is destroyed and JWT tokens associated with it are invalidated. The password reset token is destroyed after use or after expiration. Uh, broken links, okay, so we're done with security. Broken links, uh, check that all pages get no broken links on monkey test. Let me just show you guys what this one looks like. Uh, I'm just gonna copy that. Um, oh, there it is, okay. So I can paste that here, run free test, and we will let that run for a sec, okay? Uh, check that all pages get no invalid links on Screaming Frog. Uh, the link for this one is right here, okay? And I can test things here as well. Uh, compatibility, check compatibility with major desktop browsers and their versions, okay? so. 99% uh, of the apps that you will ever make should be fully compatible on all of these browsers, along with other ones. Uh, check mobile browsers too. We should always do testing on mobile and semi-mobile devices like tablets. Also check how Safari and Chrome perform on various screen sizes. Uh, SEO social media. Uh, is it fetched correctly by Google? Okay, check with Google Webmaster Tools. Let's see a screaming frog. Oh. One. Okay, so here's what this looks like. I have all the JavaScript onload events, on click events, broken links, zero, looking good. Okay, and it shows kind of all the data that they went through to get that information. So, okay, uh, right here, how to get your website on Google search. With Google, there is a, a, a little bit of a price. You know, there are some SEO principles that you can implement. Uh, without ever paying a dime. Um, but to get it on that first page, I'm pretty sure nowadays you always have to pay. Uh, is it uh, in the first page of Google search results pages? Does it contain correct open graph tags for social sharing? Test by dropping the link into Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest to see what image, title, and description is generated. Does the site or app have the correct title, meta description tag? Does it have a favicon? Okay. Uh, nice to haves, all of this is here. Um, and they're really good things to have. I would say everything up to this point, you should always have no matter what. Uh, again, the authentication stuff based on the app. Um, but these are all really nice things to have, okay? All right. And I think that was it for today. So I know I went really fast. I clicked on those links, not really to show you everything running, but just so that you guys could have those links if you wanted to use them. Um, and you could at least see what those tools look like. Um, like I said, there are a lot of these tools out there to help you with security, testing broken links, testing usability, testing performance, um, and it's awesome. So, uh, but yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Enjoy finishing up your product projects and I hope you have a great week.